you just wrote the final line of your code. You hit run, and then boom, another bug, another cryptic error message, another what did I break this time? If it feels like your code is always buggy, you're not alone. But what if the bugs aren't just mistakes, but clues? Today, I'll show you why bugs are unavoidable, why even senior developers face them daily, and how you can squash them with a pro-level mindset. No shame, no panic, just a real talk about debugging and how to finally stop feeling like your code is out to get you. Let's start with a truth bomb. Bugs are not proof you suck. They're proof your brain is faster than your fingers. Think about it, software is written by humans trying to predict a machine's logic. That gap, that's where bugs live. Even Google ships code with bugs. Even NASA has patch updates. So no, it's not just you. The difference between beginners and pros isn't who writes bug-free code. It's who knows how to squash them faster. Reason 1. You change one thing and forget what it breaks. Modern code isn't linear, it's like a spider web. Pull one string, the whole thing shifts. Reason 2. You copy-pasted code you didn't understand. Look, we've all done it. Stack Overflow is a blessing. Until it becomes a graveyard of zombie code you can't debug. Reason 3. You assume the computer thinks like you. It doesn't. It's literal. Exact. Miss a comma? Wrong indent? Infinite loop. These aren't dumb mistakes. They're common developer traps. The cure? Awareness. Here's how pros think when a bug shows up. Don't panic. Panic clouds logic. Breathe. Reproduce the bug. If you can't make it happen again, you can't fix it. Read the error like a story. Error messages aren't insults. They're breadcrumbs. Isolate the problem. Comment out code. Shrink the problem down. Find the line, not the entire file. Talk to your code. Out loud. Yep, it sounds weird. But vocal debugging rewires your brain to slow down and notice the obvious. Use the tools. Console logs. Print what you're thinking. Breakpoints. Stop and stare mid-execution. Rubber duck debugging. Explain your code to a duck. Or a wall. Or your phone. It works. And if all else fails, take a break. Walk. Nap. Reset your RAM, the one inside your head. Your code will always have bugs. But you? You're becoming someone who can face them without fear. So next time your code breaks, smile. That's the sound of progress.